Good morning. It's Monday in August. I'm just showing you my garden. Um, the tomato plants. I've been picking a lot of the tomatoes and train, trimming them back because we had some storm damage. So that's why they're looking a little not as good, but they're still producing tomatoes. Basil looks good. I'm sorry, this is catnip. I might harvest some more catnip soon. Basil looks good. Um, and then these are my like paste tomatoes. I, the, I don't know what's going on with them. They've been, it seems like they've been, here, let me get rid of that bug. It seems like they've been, get off there, green forever. So hopefully they'll start turning red soon before the bugs eat them. And then my jalapeno plants are looking good. I've already harvested a couple. I think I will definitely harvest some soon. Jalapeno. Here is, the, I have this um, tr uh, chair holding up these plants. Uh, they had storm damage the other day and they never recovered. Like it falls over if I move this uh, chair. So I just leave it there. And then as you can see, I've got a lot of nice banana peppers. I'm gonna need to harvest today. And my horseradish is looking great. And my random tomato plant is looking great. But what I really wanted to show you is like, so I have not sprayed for any bugs. Um, if I see a worm, I pick it off. I found like a couple small worms not today, just overall. I've found a couple brown worms I've thrown out in the yard for the birds to eat. And um, I've found a couple of smaller black ones. And I found two of the big green horned tomato worms, whatever they're called. And actually, here's my second one I wanted to show you on camera. Look at that. So, see how good of a camo he is? Like just glancing, you wouldn't even realize he's there. So this is like pretty much all gardeners hate this worm because he'll just like, if you don't catch him, he'll just eat all your tomatoes. And he's huge and I can't, I just can't kill him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to trim the stalk Oops. as he falls. There he is. There you go. See him? Look how big he is. And then I'm gonna throw them over the fence and hope a squirrel or a bird or something eats them. Hopefully he won't make it back to my yard or my garden. If he does, then he's amazing. But I'm hoping some bird will find him and eat him because I personally can't kill him, but I don't have a problem if a different animal kills him. So yeah, those are, I don't know, green horned worms and they are a big pain in the butt and I found two and my husband did research like how I how do these worms get to a garden so they're actually from moths so like moths lay eggs and then those eggs turns into those worms and then those worms will eventually turn into another moth so that's how they get around anyway I'm gonna grab my harvesting bowl and get some more tomatoes. I'm just doing a quick peek to see if there's any more of these worms. As you, it's just, they're so camoed, they're hard to see. When the first couple worms, a couple weeks ago, they were all black and brown, so they were easy to see. But those green ones, the only good thing is they seem to be like at the tops because they seem to really like the sun. Not seeing any others. And then the only other bugs is like, I don't know, the stink bug style that like to sit on these tomatoes. That's why I'm afraid by the time they're red, they're probably gonna have like too many bug bites on them or something. I just flick off the stink bugs every time I see them. I don't even know that they're stink bugs. I just call them that. Um, and then I've been getting plenty of like bees, which I leave alone and then occasional wasps, which I leave alone. It's basically just the worms that annoy the heck out of me. So yeah, that's my garden this week. I'll come back when I harvest all these tomatoes for an afternoon snack. So yeah, it's just, I'm just harvesting them when they're red. These are all cherry tomatoes. They're not the orange style, so I won't harvest those until they are red. Like, see right here, I see them. My tomatoes grew like crazy. <laughs> so, 
so they grew over the fence so I have to come over here I just saw a tomato oh now the sun's in the eye that had a bug bite in it so let's see if I see any worms on this side there's a couple red ones next year I'll do a better job trimming it's just this was um oh, it's a tomato on the ground so my first year I'm learning I'm watching lots of YouTube videos and learning and I definitely learned I should have trimmed a lot more than I did so next year I'm still happy with what we got because this is just like for fun whenever we want a snack and of course it'd be great if I could can some but mostly we've just been, been eating them all all right I don't see any bugs I don't think you saw anything because that sun was shining bright but yeah next I already bought seeds for next year that they're smaller tomato style plant made more for pots I planted these cherry tomatoes and I don't think they were meant to be in pots. I mean, obviously it worked, but as you can see, they got way too big for the um, tomato cages. So I definitely don't think they were meant for pots. So anyway, let me go get my bowl and I will start picking some tomatoes.
Oh man, look at that. Look at this big one right here. Uh, oh, you can't see it. It's all you see is green leaves. Oh, come on. Look at that big one. Hidden back here. There's some big ones. There's a couple other ones I'll wait till they get a little bigger. And then this, I'm gonna move this chair and see. They're gonna see how it falls forward. It's just the storm really damaged them. And I planted way too many. It's also my fault for planting way too many. So I don't even know if this one's gonna give me any. I haven't really, you see? Like none of these have peppers on them. So it's my fault for, for planting way too many. It's not getting enough sun, I think, is the problem. There's a couple right here, but Lesson learned, don't overplant. And then here is the jalapenos. Let's see, I might see if there's any, or I just let them grow a little longer. I think I'll wait and let the jalapenos grow bigger. That's a nice one right there, but I want it to get bigger. So yeah, this corner one planted too many and it's not getting enough sun. Still got a nice bowl full.